16 years old, and a very strong skater. She has a powerful program planned. Her first jump she has is a double lutz, triple toe loop. Watch this preparation. Taking off backwards, tapping that toe in, and going right up into a triple toe loop. Very nice. Second jump is a double axle, two and a half revolutions. Now this is a very difficult triple coming up that not too many of the girls have even attempted in practice. And here comes her preparation, it's a triple flip. Here she's going to tap in, turn three revolutions, did not quite complete that rotation she had to step down to hold on to that and not fall she really can't afford those kind of mistakes not at all not in this competition here in Copenhagen but she's basically a, a very lovely skater I think to watch she moves well she really is such a pretty face too had an interesting career in the world championships. In 1979, she was in 13th place, dropping to 10th place in 80, 5th place in 1981, and of course now she's uh, very close to a medal in this championship. Remember, as we told you earlier, the placings in this phase of the competition are added to the scores that each ca skater carried into this phase of the competition with them. And the computer now tells us that Elaine Zayek is still leading the free skating portion of the competition. Claudia Leisner has moved into second place with Claudia Christofix Binder dropping to third place. So, Peggy, the intriguing possibilities just continue to develop. And the question right now is, what will happen with Katarina Vitt? It is the most amazing competition, isn't it, Dick? Katrina's ballet training has really helped her a lot, her presence out there, and her body is much like a dancer. It's very nice to watch. She could hit a little more pretty positions, though. Eagle, for instance, she could lean back and really hold that much prettier. And going into a triple Sauka, which she fell out of. But I think these kind of combinations, the combination of a beautiful spread eagle position into a very difficult jump like a triple, that's what separates uh, Elaine from Katerina. But she's having a lot of trouble tonight, falling out of some of these jumps and competing with someone like Elaine. It's going to be hard for her to catch up with her or, for that matter, uh, Bender. It'll be really interesting to see if she can pull up to place in that top three. double axle Russian split jumps this is the end of her four minute routine not a great on the ice in Copenhagen